Being retired, it, it's like going back to school because we go to everything that we can, but you don't have to take any tests. Education is just, that's a big priority, the main priority, I guess, in our life. It is. We are approached one time for putting, uh, having my name put on something, uh, some kind of military statue in Sulphur Springs, and I said, no, you know, I'd rather have my name on the lab. When well, one of us thinks about winning a lottery and coming into a lot of money or something, we never talk about buying a yacht. We talk about what, we, what department we would give it to at the university. I don't know that Ann might not like me to tell this, but she gets down sometime and she says, you know, we've donated this money and nobody cares. And we went to a math breakfast, I believe. No, it was, was uh, appreciation, appreciation dinner. Appreciation dinner. And a student there who, who received our math scholarship got up and talked about how he couldn't have made it without it and how much it meant. But that helps when someone calls out and tells you what it meant to him. Yeah, you feel good. You know, I taught about, I think, four years as an adjunct in the math department. And then I tutored over 100 athletes in four years. I had one player come by and see me at a basketball game. And I remember he was a wide receiver in football. And he had failed college algebra two or three times. He was convinced he couldn't pass it. And I was convinced he could. And I said, Cedric, you're a wide receiver. You're running your pass route and you're making adjustments depending on what the defense does and your quarterback knows what you're going to do and you're making split-second decisions like that and you're trying to tell me you're too dumb to learn algebra, go tell it to somebody else. Cedric came alive and he did play pro ball and he came back here one time and he put his arm around me and said, I wouldn't be where I am today if it weren't for you. I said, you might be playing pro ball, but you wouldn't have your degree. One time we were given a Starfish Award for the saving of an individual student. And what the Starfish Award says is, the little boy was walking down the beach and the starfish had all washed up on shore. And he picked, was picking them up and throwing them in. And a man said, son, you can't save all those starfish. And he said, no, but I can save this one. And so I think we've had a few individuals here that possibly we have saved. <laughs>